Welcome to Dread Vault. I hope you enjoyed the sound of the amplifier with a rough mix. Now let's talk about it and then let's hear the raw audio of this Carvin V3. Today's guest is Carvin V3 which is an old US made all tube amplifier which belongs to a dear friend of mine. Before hearing and playing the amplifier I searched YouTube but I couldn't find a proper video which reflects my type of playing or my type of sound characteristics. Because of it I want to make my contribution you know this is a contribution to the literature type of video. So there is no story there is nothing else to talk about. Now let's talk about our signal chain. We have the Carvin V3 with my Mesa rectifier standard 4x12 cabinet and obviously we have the Maxon OD808 and I'm just keeping the chromatic tuner in the signal chain as a caution. Besides that I will play the amplifier with my good old Jackson King V Pro which has an alder body, maple neck, ebony fretboard, Samer Duncan JB and 59. Obviously we won't use the 59 because there won't be a clean sound in this video. We will check the third channel which is the clean channel but I'm gonna play it as crunch. If you want to hear the clean sound of the amplifier there are Lots of good videos of this thing but I couldn't find the proper video of this amplifier for metal. Now let's talk about our amplifier briefly and then let's hear it. We have three different channels with a power amp section and in the power amp section we have lots of different knobs which are master, boost, bright, mid cut and deep. Also we have two selectors, two switches for the loop. The channel selectors, channel switches are really fun to play actually it's it's weird you know you can't see this type of stuff in these days by the way what am i doing i'm not sure is it a proper <laughs> way to change the channels sorry about it anyway let's hear it Now let's open up the boost. Now let's play with the power amp section while keeping the settings as it is on the first channel. By the way, I have a small issue about the input of my guitar, sorry about it. Thank you. 
I really like the effect of the bright knob because you know most of the time I like to open up the presence knob it adds a little bit of saturation and I like this sharpness in the sound of the amplifiers most of the time the bright knob adds the the saturation with with the proper way you know if you can open up the presence knob a little bit too much it 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 it, it makes it makes the sound of the amplifier wrong but it pushes the right point at least to it's it's it, it feels proper it feels right to my ears let me demonstrate it It might not be the most production friendly settings but it, it, it's really fun to play you know with the bright knob it, it makes all of the palm mutes more thicker more fuller <laughs> But the presence knob adds a little bit of volume boost too because of it lots of different characteristics lots of different areas of the spectrum kind of change kind of shifts you know the, the mids are increasing the trebles are increasing <laughs> And now let's check the mid cut and the deep. And now let's check the second channel. They are quite similar actually. Now let's make the settings just like the first channel and let's try to hear the difference between the channels. Actually, I'm not sure about the circuit, but I can easily say the first channel can be the boosted version of the second channel. They are quite, they, they are sound, they are sounding quite similar. And if you have any knowledge about the design of the amplifier, the circuit design of the amplifier, please don't forget to leave your knowledge in the comments section. <laughs> Thank you. 
I just open up the drive knob and it's it it's it's it we can say it's exact same. And now let's check the third channel. And it was the third channel. Now let's switch back to the second again. I like this intense and thick switch as flat. I don't like the effect of it. Now let's talk about the amplifier one more as final thoughts. You know, it's it it feels like a 5150 with a hint of dual rectifier. The saturation, the the there's a looseness in the sound, but but actually most of the time it's it's really tight. You you can find some different spots, but it's not an one size fits all type of amplifier. You can get a few simple good points, a few simple good sounds, but besides that it 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 push some different areas too much because of it it's either too loose or too fizzy or too sharp 
I'm not sure what it is, but you can get some good sounds. Besides that, I really like the 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 knobs in the power amp section. If you want to play this thing with a processor, you know, like you know, like a Quad Cortex or GE 300, etc., you can really change the characteristics of your sound. You can really change the power amp response and you can unlock lots of different areas also either if you don't want to spend too much or you, you don't want lots of different amplifiers going around it can be a good companion because you can find this thing on 600 or 700 bucks on reverb it's not really fancy it's not really expensive i know there are some there are some bottlenecks but you can get some chugging heavy metal sounds also the power amp section is really good i really like the options in here so this was carbon v3 with a mesa rectifier cabinet and the jackson king v pro i hope you enjoyed the content and if you enjoyed please don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel also please don't forget to leave your opinions in the comment section till the next video see ya